Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And uh, I thought this would be a nice time to give everyone a channel update on things that are going on with the channel. I think the last one I did was November, so I think we're due about now. And some stuff has finished up and some other stuff is, you know, has been progressing down the line. And we have some things coming up. So I wanted to let you know <coughs> what all that stuff is. So uh, the first item is the the Sportsman Z Football League has just completed. As you know, our New Jersey Generals were eliminated in the AFC Championship game by the 1968 Kansas City Chiefs, who went on to the Super Bowl against the 2018 New Orleans Saints, who beat the 2018 Carolina Panthers in the NFC Championship. So it turns out that Super Bowl ended 16-7 in New Orleans' favor. The Chiefs had only a touchdown from Len Dawson passing into the end zone. And the uh, Saints only had a touchdown and three field goals and won the game 16 to seven. Dawson was 17 of 30 for 161 yards and a touchdown. Breeze was 19 of 28 for 190 yards, a touchdown and an interception. So it was a really a, a defensive struggle. Um, I had planned to televise the game, but I soon came to realize that there, at least not that I saw, there was no way to just let the computer play the game and me watch it. So, because um, I tried to click on uh, both teams run by the computer, and then it said, if you do this, it's just going to play the game to the end. Like, quick play it. So, that's what happened. I didn't want to really take one team or the other. I didn't think that would be fair. So I, I figured let the computer play it out and see what the results are, and that was it. So the New Orleans Saints are the world champions of this particular SMZ um, uh, PC football league. Now, what that opens the door for is the new um, Card and Dice Football League, which I'm going to do, which is going to have... 12 teams, I believe it's 12 teams and a 12 game schedule. And uh, if you need the details of that, I will put that in the end card so that you can refresh your memory on what teams will be in that league and how those teams will be comprised and how I will be doing it. And uh, I'm going to be starting that relatively soon. Uh, I don't want to say next weekend, I don't want to hold myself to starting it next weekend. Um, especially since next weekend is the start of my uh, one of my baseball league drafts. So it may not start next weekend, might be two or three weeks, but um, that's coming relatively soon. New Card and Dice Football League, which I'm pretty excited about. That seems to get a lot of views. That gets even more views than the, than the PC football seasons do. Um, and of course, I'm still going over my White Sox, comparing the Chicago White Sox to teams that they will play in the 2021 actual season. Um, we, it turns out we play 18 teams, and I am halfway through. I've already done nine of them. So if you haven't seen one of the other um, nine comparisons, I've done every team in the, AF, in the uh, American League Central except the Twins. Still got to do the Twins. I have done, I think, only the Yankees in the AL East. And I've done every team in the AL West except Oakland. I still got to do Oakland. And um, for National League teams, I've done, I think, only the Cubs that we are going to play. So, and we are playing the NL Central this year, so I still have to do St. Louis, Pittsburgh, and Milwaukee, um, and Cincinnati. I still have to do all of them, haven't done any of them yet. So anyway, be on the lookout for those if you're a fan of that and you like to see how the White Sox are, um, you know, how they stack up against their competition in 2021. I give you the previews of that, and like I said, we're halfway through that. 
Um, then there is the, um, and then there's Stratomatic. And Stratomatic, of course, the game has come out. The cards are on the way. My cards are on the way. And I did order the Imagined Season cards. So that'll be something interesting. So I'm going to do an unboxing and, um, you know, slash talking about the uh, the Imagine Season cards, because not everybody is getting those. Um, at least that's my sense. And the Imagine Season cards are supposedly stratomatic, projecting what would have happened to the end of the season, and it's not a straight projection. It's not like they're not taking, my understanding is, they won't take the 60 game stats and then just like basically multiply them out times 2.7 and say, here's the card. No, they're going to do their, you know, their usual crack research and you know figure out um, how many slumps does this guy go into is his second half usually worse than his first half does he play worse in September than he does in August does he have a hot August you know things like that and they're going to use those projections um, to come up with what the cards would have looked like what the players would have looked like had they all played an entire season probably injuries incorporated too so you're not going to see guys with you're not going to see every starter with 648 at bats some of them are going to have 460 because they'll say this guy's injury prone he wouldn't have made it all the way through the season that's what i'm expecting and you know i'm really anxious to see if that's how it turns out but yes i will uh share those cards some of those cards with everybody some of the uh, more notable players and i'll compare them to their actual cards from the 60 game set to see where the differences are especially i will try to find guys where there are stark differences like you would imagine luke voigt would be starkly different because if you straightly if you you know did a straight line projection of him out to the end of the season, he would have hit 59 home runs, but I'm sure Strat doesn't really think Luke Voigt would have hit 59 home runs had he played an entire season. So that is something to look forward to, you know, an unboxing, a look at the uh, cards for the, um, the Imagine set, uh, maybe even another, you know, maybe even another computer card going over the computer cards because that was pretty popular and there were some players that other guys said they wanted to see, so may do another one of those um, talk about the draft my Elmwood League you, I, I talk about my Elmwood League quite often with my Providence Grays who I still think are pretty good and might contend maybe but anyway um, I will go over what we ended up getting in the draft and what our final team looks like I think it's gonna look pretty good um, but then again we'll have to see so then, of course, you've got the uh, Card and Dice Baseball Tournament that I'm going, that I'm doing right now. Um, in case you, uh, in case you've been under a rock and you don't know about that, I am taking uh, teams from the past, playing them against each other. I've already down, done round one where I played a very bad team against a very good team, and to see who advances to the second round. Two bad teams advance. No, three. Is it two or three? I think it's two. Two bad teams advanced to the second round. Those were the 65 Red Sox and the 61 Phillies. They were the only bad team, bad slash underdog teams from the first round that advanced to the second round. The 65 Red Sox have already been eliminated. So in the second round already, we have played one game in the AL field, and that was the 65 Red Sox going up against the 88 A's. They lost to the 88 A's. And right now, um, well, then also in the National League field, the 87 Giants have knocked off the 77 Dodgers, so they will advance. And then right now, I am currently in the 61 Phillies versus 86 Mets series. You might want to go check that out. I've um, as of the recording of this video, I've only played one game of that series, but it's a best of three, so we'll see what happens. Or a best of, it's a best of five, you have to win three games. So, uh, yeah, check in on that, see how that's going. Um, and then there, after that series is played, there will only be three more series left. Two in the AL, which will be the 83 Angels versus the 18 Astros. 
and the 68 Orioles versus the 89 Royals. And then in the National League field, there will only be one more um, series left, and that'll be the 90 Reds going up against the 84 Padres. You don't want to miss that. And then, of course, I'm doing the 70, or the 55 uh, Washington Senators. Computer season. Uh, <clears throat> we are we're currently, I think we finished... I think we finished July, and we're heading into August. But I'm, you know, I don't do every game. I'm just going to pick, you know, pick and choose certain games. I'll probably televise about, uh, you know, probably three more, maybe three more two-game series, double headers, from now until the end of the season, and see where the Senators finish. Currently, they're three games behind what they actually did in real life. So we'll have to see how they, um, how the uh, Stratomatic version matches up, which is interesting because the computer uses the advanced rules and um, and the advanced sides of the cards, and the Senators are playing against the exact same competition that they played against in 1955, and they're playing the teams in the same exact order. The only thing that's potentially changing is the pitchers, but the pitchers on every team are the pitchers on every team. And, you know, so there's only five or six possible starters on each team anyway. So we'll see. Um, but, yeah, like I said, the Senators are three games worse right now than the real Senators were, which is bad because the real Senators were terrible. So uh, that's what I got. That's uh, how everything lines up right now. I think I have mentioned everything that's coming, everything that I'm currently doing, and, and where we are in the stages of everything that we're currently doing so speak be on the lookout especially for when the strat cards come i expect my cards to be coming sometime this week maybe in like three days maybe three to five days because i didn't order until like two days after the ordering period began so we'll have to see i hope they do come this week um and the card and dice football season is still going to be maybe three weeks off but um but it's coming. I got, I've got some other setup I have to do on that. So those are the things to be on the lookout for. And I guess that's all I got right now. So that's it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.